I could assign this to VLAN 2. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm just going to open up the Ubuntu machine and I'm just going to reboot it so it gets the latest settings. Now I'm not going to update the Windows 11 box and I'm going to show you how the different networks can not talk to each other now in that way. Now VLANs can be a little tricky if it's not something you've worked with in the past. Just think of it as we have our home network at our house. Let's say we have a slash 24 so we could have about 253 hosts give or say. We might not want everything to be able to communicate with everything else. We might not want our IoT devices to be able to reach everything across our house or everything inside our house to be able to reach our IoT devices. Let's say you have like a smart doorbell or you have, you know, maybe cameras and you don't want the cameras accessible from the entire network. We can break our network in our house up into a smaller piece and we can VLAN it by creating this virtual network inside of the larger network. We can assign all of our cameras per se to VLAN 2 and everything else in the house might be on the regular network or maybe a different VLAN. What it's gonna do is we're only gonna be able to reach the cameras now from a loud host. So let's say your PC might be where you wanna be able to access the cameras or maybe you have a DVR. 